Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. Today is February 25th, 2023. It's pretty nice out. It's about 20 degrees above zero, but it's really windy. I hope you can hear me okay. But uh, it's supposed to kind of warm up into the weekend. So what I'm going to do today, I got the 830 here. I just unplugged the heater off of it. So hopefully that'll fire up. Get some fuel in it and I got to blow some snow out. Some of the spots where it drifted pretty bad from that last snowstorm we got. Try to blow out a path into the pasture. And then I'm going to try to open up my trail back up out to the woods there too. So that tends to drift in pretty good. Because it's supposed to be up in the upper 30s from now on for a few days. So if it gets too wet, I think that my blower will just plug. But anyway, we'll see if we can get this fired up. And I got to move Paul's truck here. He's helping me today. Move his truck out of the way and go fuel this up and move some snow. Didn't even need any vitamin E. Can't beat that. All right, we'll let it warm up a little and we'll get some fuel in it. Yeah, the trail to the woods has definitely drifted in a bit.
made it out here. Uh, went pretty good, I think. Other than that corner, it plugged up a little, but the snow is blowing pretty easy anyway with it being dry. We got to head back out. I got a chain and a clevis. Paul went with the skid steer into the woods. He was going to miss make sure the trails in there were opened up and he drove off the edge of the snow pack and got stuck. So we're going to go see if we can uh, pull him out. Well, we're out here to assess the damages. Get on the ice or? Yeah, I, just, I wasn't even trying to push that way. I was trying to go that way and it just slid sideways. And then every time I tried to push myself back, it just kept going further. Yeah, see the trail goes off this way and there ain't much snow in here, but this dang ice from last time. I'll have to bring some salt or sand back here or something and put on that. Well, I wanted my longer chain, but it was stuck under the log. Clevis was in there. Well, we'll get hooked up here and uh, see if we can get it pulled out. Gonna try her once more, or maybe try her a couple more times. She did it! Well, that was more of a pain than I thought, but we got it out of there. Probably, I don't know how good a footage we got. I didn't want Jordan standing too close in case you have a chain break or something. But got down under the snow and the ground was froze. There's too much of a hill, I couldn't get any traction, so we shortened up the chain, so I was actually pulling down into my ruts, which got him moving anyway. Trouble was, when he slid off, this was all snow bank that I had piled up, so he couldn't get down to any dirt with the bucket. He was just pushing in snow and all on ice here, so I'm going to have to get some, uh, some sand or salt or something on here and and get this so we can drive on here again this is where we've been going to get firewood out and i'm sure i'm going to get 50 comments saying how i need to get my firewood in the summertime or the spring but i got nothing else to do this time of the year anyway so i might as well get firewood instead of trying to trying to get it when you got a million other things going on but so it's one of them things a little bit just a pain with the ice there but we get that taken care of it won't be bad so we'll head back now. Jen was going to let the cows out and see if they can make it through that drift or not. If they can't get through that drift out to the pasture, um, I probably won't plow out to there today because there's not really any sense to anyway until we can get the cows out there. So we'll head back to the yard now and see what's going on with the cows.
guys ready to come back in? Come on, Gypsy. Come on, Austin. Hope. Beauty, who I do believe is in heat. Hey, Mindy. Hey, Beauty. Yeah, we're gonna hold off there, Buggy, until your little more stalls are filled up so you know which stall you belong in. Hey, Bravery, Jerry. Therese. Fancy, Mocha. Million Ember. All right, we'll call that a group. Oh, Claire wanted to sneak in. Come on, Mocha. Come on. Come on. Next group, we do a few at a time. That way if someone misses a stall, you don't have the whole barn getting carried away. Modesty. Come on, Joan, Polly. Yeah, there we go, come on. There we go, Joan. It's usually always the same cows that are at the beginning that want in right away. It's usually always the same cows that are the last ones to come in. There we go. Come on, princess. Come on, river. Yeah, time to go in. Come on. Hey, Lila. Yes. All right, come on, time to go in. Come on, prize, delta. Come on, Lily. Come on, Buggy. Come on, Buggy. Let's go. Last but not least. Let's go, ladies. Hi, Shella. Oh, yeah. Mr. Stall Buggy. There we go. Oh, IBA came. Now we got our post dip. Got some gloves. Paper towels. And what's in the bag? Oh. New inflations. Sweet. We're just getting started milking here. Millie here, one of our purchase cows. Get close up there. We just tested here our DHA. She's doing 113 pounds a day. Twist here. She's not exactly the prettiest cow in the barn. She's milking 101 pounds a day on three quarters. So don't need to be pretty to do the job right. And then Miss Modesty here, she is going now on two months for on test being over 100 pounds a day. 103 for the test. What? She built 103 pounds at the test. Yep, 103 pounds. A pound more than last time. Yep, yeah, you're right, a pound more than last month. Comfy up there?
hard at work again? Yeah. Gotta clean all, gotta clean the whole barn, huh? What? Gotta clean the whole barn, huh? All that hard work. got here so that's the barn cleaner that chain goes all the way around behind the cows and dumps all the manure into here and then this is a ram pump and that pumps the manure through a 12 inch pipe underground and we've got a lagoon outside and then once a year typically once a year we get that pumped out onto the field so it um, it works really nice especially this winter with all the snow and stuff i wouldn't be able to haul manure um i'd have to pile it somewhere because of way too much snow so and if you are new to the channel if you go back we had some of our early videos that pipe going underground had actually plugged and it had a spot where it had broke i got something on my camera it had broke so uh, we had to dig it up we had to dig up the barn floor and everything it was kind of a whole nightmare and i was going to just put in a different system where you'd have to haul every day but i'm sure glad i sure glad i didn't we got it fixed because it's sure is nice especially on a winter like this to just flip a couple switches and the barn's clean <laughs> 